Hi everyone. What I want to do is I want to talk about strong and weak correlation. In particular, correlation for two variables. So correlation coefficient is the strength and direction of your bivariate data. Basically, correlation coefficient um, gives you a measurement of the trend of your data. And R is measured between negative one through one. In between, there's other measurements and describes the data a certain way. Let me show you some graphs of different R's. So here, you can see that I have data that has a correlation coefficient of one all the way to zero and then to negative one. And let's see what these patterns look like. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that when R is one, it has a positive trend as if you were drawing a positive line. Correlation coefficient doesn't give you the line uh, or the regression, but it gives you the trend. So this one has an upward trend. As you know, in when you did algebra, right, the, uh, the line is drawn from left to right. So if you start over here on the left and you draw a line, it has a trend that's going up or a slope that's going up, right? And if you go from left to right and you draw the line starting over here on the top, right, going to the right, it's going down. That's a downward trend, right? So you could draw a line like this and say, look, it's going down. No, it's not because you didn't draw it from left to right. So now, again, the correlation coefficient doesn't give you the regression line. What it does, it gives you the trend of the line. So instead of people drawing lines and saying, oh, that's the trend, it's going up, some people will do, do is like, oh, the, the cloud, right? The cloud of points has a trend going up. Either way, the thing is, here with the correlation coefficient of one, it has an upward trend and it has a what they call a positively strong trend. All the data points are tightly close together and R is one. Now, when the points are more spread out, the trend tends to, the, ten, the trend is still positive, but it's a more weaker trend or a positively weak trend. And when you end up with R is equal to 0.4, uh, it's still positively, but very weak trend. And then when you get up to zero, that tends to be no trend because the data points are going all over the place. You really can't tell if it's going this way or that way, um, going up or down. And sometimes even pictures like this, it's hard to see if there's a trend going positive or negative. That's why we use the math to help us find the correlation coefficient to give us that trend. Now, before we go on, the strength is how close the dots are together. As you can see, with positive one, the, all the data points are lined up. They're packed together. And as, it's, as the data gets closer to zero, the data is more spread out. And because it's more spread out, the, there is really no more trend. And if you keep on going, Let's go to the next one, right, where you got R is negative 0.4, right? Then we have a negatively weak, uh, negative, <laughs> negatively very weak trend. And you can see the data points are, are less spread out than zero,
but they're still spread out. And if they're more, the data points are more closely packed together, in this case, negative 0 0.8, when R is negative, uh, negative 0 0.8, it's negatively uh, weak trend. It still has a negative t uh, trend because it's going down. And then the last one is a negatively strong trend. It's negative because the trend is going down. Remember, left to right, we draw lines left to right. Even though we can draw the line this way and you're like, oh, it's going up. No, it's left to right, going down. Um, and it's negative and it's strong because the data points are packed together. And these are all trends. Now this is, this here is, um, this is not something that's standard, these words here, okay? Your teacher will probably have different words. Um, maybe they don't call it a trend. Maybe they think that this is not weak. Maybe it's, you know, somewhat strong, right? And this one they might call just weak. And maybe there's one in between that's very weak. As a matter of fact, uh, in some fields, like when you study education, uh, sometimes this is not weak. This might be strong, okay? A strong negative or this information. Again, like in education. Why? Because there might be a lot more variables involved and in getting a trend that looks like this or like this might not be as weak as suggested. So these, again, are relative terms used in different areas of uh, study. So when, when your teacher gives you these uh, particular words, just make sure you match them towards the right uh, picture. Okay, I hope that helps. And uh, good luck. Please subscribe. And I'll see you later and be safe. Bye-bye.